Hello Diamonds, this is your teacher Usman Ali, lecturer at Cardano University. In this video, we will discuss actually this sub, how to create a subtotal item, what it is, group item and discount items. These are the three items we're going to discuss here. Now let me give you a background about them and then we will create one. Subtotal items are actually used by QuickBooks to find the total of your invoice. Okay that would be the sub although that if you don't have a sub uh, if you don't use subtotal items still the uh, the quickbook will find the total of it but there is a specific use of that subtotal once we create this subtotal as well as group and discount i will use them in an example so you will actually understand that that okay for what specific purpose the subtotal is needed then group items group items are actually uh, used by companies when they are selling different commodities in one group like these supermarkets on on friday nights they offer some packages some deals like uh, or maybe in different restaurants they have deals there okay uh, we we call them platters or maybe any package anything you you buy these two things we give you this one for free whatever that is so such promotional packages can be uh, offered to customers in shape of groups so we will use group item for there then uh, discounts um, for sure you will give discounts also not to every customer to some specific customers you will give them discounts so the the, the right uh, what you say option for you is to create a discount item here so that it can facilitate you on the invoicing uh, time when you are writing an invoice actually to a customer so let's start with the subtotal item here when I click on the subtotal item so it asks from me that what name you want to give to this subtotal item any name I can give any name I can give time being I would just write subtotal rewrite it again if I want to give any description here I can now this subtotal actually would be based on what based on amount quantity price cost what let's let's go for amount okay if if i want quantity so then we'll check in on quantity price check in on price i want it actually to be based on the amount the amount actually the, the total amount of that invoice so i will click on amount and i will just click okay and that's it we have created one subtotal item here okay and it's a subtotal here that's done let's go and create uh, a group item now as i have already told you that a group item actually uh, it, it's a group of different items which we are selling let me uh, give it a name let's suppose we call it as uh, deal one okay or package one promotion one whatever you say and in deal one now what are those products that i will sell inside deal one so let's suppose i want to sell in deal one power supply and hard disk and uh, RAM. let's suppose this is my deal one so deal one whenever I click on deal one when I'm creating an invoice for customer so when I once I click on deal one automatically these three names will come in the invoice as it is okay I can specify the quantity also that maybe the, the deal is not just to buy one each the deal is actually buy three each two each four each so maybe this deal is that that if if you buy this deal one from me and if you buy like two two quantity on every one on every item i will give you 10 percent discount on that okay so maybe that's the case and then the the benefit of d1 would be that that it will save my time by individually selecting an item in my invoice all these items just i had to select deal one and automatically these three items will come okay so we are done with our uh, creating a group item i will press ok and you can see we have a deal item by the name of group hair now let's go and create a discount item and that would be the last and then we will use it in invoice discounts okay let me give it a name of discount discount would be just saying uh, maybe i have a special package for my regular customers who frequently visit my shop frequently buy products from me i want to give them some discount how much discount i want to give them to my regular customers i want to give them 10 percent discount now if i just write 10 here so the quickbook will take it as 10 dollar in a currency amount if i want quickbook to use percentage then i had to type in 10 percent okay so this time quickbook will take this 10 as a percentage not as a dollar amount okay and then 
uh, it's a discount which I am giving to my customer so this is somewhat we call that discount given or it is an expense account so let me see if we have any of uh, an expense account here we have advertisement bank charges computer depreciation dues insurance expenses meal okay the the shortcut here is that I can write discount so if there is any discount it will automatically come in front of me if I don't have any disc the discount given discount expense account here so what I will do I will click on add new and I will type in here discount given now it's not an income account it is actually an expense account so I will click on expense okay now you know how to create all these accounts uh, how to create a new account you, we had a video on this so there is no need to explain all of them just expense discount given I will click save on close and you can see we have now an expense account here by the name of discount given okay it's it done I will press ok we have created three items now we have created subtotal item group item and discount item now let's go to customer menu and let me invoice one of my customer okay so, and this invoicing is just actually uh, to tell you how to how these these three items are used actually in an invoice whatever the customer is I have not uh, recorded a video uh, how to create a customer so we we don't go for other options just we will stick around towards uh, our three items which we have just created now here in the invoice item code uh, I will select which item I have sold whatever the item I'm let's suppose if I'm selling uh, repair services I am selling uh, casing I am selling CPU okay whatever I'm selling okay now if you can see here the what, what you see here is that that the invoice is actually automatically helping me to record these things 335 all these things now now if I want to offer a particular discount now I will I will give you two two scenarios here one wrong scenario and one the right scenario okay let me go for the right one first what I will do is that I want to give 10% discount on all of these payments 10 25 30 10% the one which I recorded for my regular customers I will click on the item I will click on subtotal once I click on subtotal if you can see here it's 10 plus 25 plus 300 is 335 so inside this invoice subtotal has automatically total this thing for me inside the invoice and now what I will click I will I will go for the discount option the discount item that was the regular person discount if you remember that was 10% when I click on it if you can see here the QuickBook will actually go for minus 10% from the price and the total was 335 so the 10% of 335 is 333.50 dollar which is in minus and if you can see my bill has automatically it has subtracted that value so this is the use of subtotal and discount let us suppose if I don't use subtotal and I just directly give a discount here so what gonna happen here is let me just finish this one also okay so this was the invoice I want I was working which was which had a bill of three hundred and thirty five dollars now if I come here and if I click on this down arrow and I click on the discount here comes the discount 10% $30 wow previously it was three hundred thirty three point fifty dollars this time it is thirty dollars why like why that the reason here is if I don't find the subtotal if I don't go for the subtotal options then this discount option in QuickBook this 10% discount this 10% will automatically be multiplied with the above row okay that's the immediate above row that's 300 this discount will not be applied on 10 and 25 it will just be multiplied with 300 and you get 30 so that's actually the use of what you say discount and subtotal so subtotals are used when you want to give discount on all of the items or maybe maybe for some some different categories of items some different groups of items actually you have different discounts to offer like in in repair services in repair services there is nothing to lose there is let's suppose there is no cost there is no subcontract involved I can give 20% discount 30% discount here also so I will have a separate subtotal for service items and I will have a separate subtotal for the goods which I sell and then I can give discounts according to them okay this is how to use the subtotal and uh, to use the discount let's go for the last item that's the deal item so again I will go to create invoice for my customer 
and I will click here on uh, the, the the down arrow of the item that was deal one was my group item if you remember now as soon as I click on deal one you will see automatically all those items have came here and if you remember like look at this the, the per unit price was 30 here okay and uh, if you remember I selected there two power supplies two hardest two RAM so 30 multiplied by 2 60 150 multiplied by 2 300 20 multiplied by 2 40 so it saves a lot of my time actually and maybe if I want to give discount on this package also on this deal also so again I, I, I can go there and I can actually go and click on the discount which was a regular customer discount if you can see it's again this was the total okay you cannot use this this row because it's a deal and deal automatically totals it there is no need of any subtotaling in deals or in group items actually 400 multiply by 10 percent that's 40 dollars and if you can see our bill is 360 dollars prior to discounting it it was 400 dollars here if you had checked it so this is how you use and create uh, subtotal group items and discount items i hope you like the video stay safe folks